Hello everybody and welcome back to our classical journey through Azeroth on the Horde side. I'm your host Valon4, this little fella here is Boltoan. And as you can see, we're getting some fishing done to start today's episode. I've just got started, I've applied my bauble which has given us plus 25 fishing skill. Which luckily has actually meant that the first three catches have all been fish, which is nice. I don't know whether that will change. I don't know whether it was actually worthwhile putting that bauble on or whether I would have just started catching straight away. But I'm not uh, I'm not going to knock it. The main thing is we are getting fish. So I'd rather the raw brilliant small fish than the mud snappers because we haven't picked up the recipe for mud snapper. I do know that you can pick up the mud snapper recipe in Dionysus from a fishing vendor. So I'm assuming we might be able to do the same here, possibly. Um, but failing that, again, it's one that we might be able to pick up on the auction house, hopefully for cheap. Because again, mud snappers uh, is a good way for us to get our cooking up. Unfortunately, from memory at least, we don't actually get to uh, cook up the mud snapper until we're at cooking level 50, which of course we are a little ways away from. And as I'd said in the previous episode, I don't intend on making you guys watch me fish for uh, the whole duration of an episode or anything even remotely similar to that. We are just getting a little bit of fishing done whilst we've got our bauble on and then we will crack on with getting some more of this stuff done today. I think we'll go and get the things done. Like I've got to go and do the right of passage, right of vision, whatever it was. Right of vision. Uh, taking the spiritual water by the spiritual fire. And then doing some such. I sincerely hope that doesn't lead us over to Thunderbluff because in reality I could have done that at the end of last episode when we went to Thunderbluff. And the other thing is, is that now we have our herbalism on, we've got to find herbs. Fingers crossed we will start actually finding some herbs and we can start making ourselves some potions. So that's the plan anyway, we'll get some stuff done, hopefully we'll get a couple more levels under our belt. But for the time being, this is just a nice, relaxing way to pass a little bit of time. So as always, with regards to my playthroughs and just generally on the channel, uh, for those of you who have been with me for quite some time, you'll know that I really, really enjoy engaging with you guys. So. Throw me anything, in, in all honesty, throw me anything. If you want to be joining me um, whilst I'm playing, feel free. If you see me online, send me a wave. Post in the comments. I will always, always try and engage with each and every one of you. I'll reply to your comments. Obviously, keep it clean. <laughs> but ask me anything, quite, quite honestly. It's always nice. To, uh, to engage with the community. Now we're getting quite quick catches now, so that's good. How are we doing in terms of fish? We've got nine of the mud snapper, seven of the small, uh, small brilliant fish. We're already up to fishing level 17. So ideally, if we can get this to 25 before the bauble runs out, that would be a good place to stop because what that means to me is that I can continue then fishing here, gaining levels without the need for the bauble, and I will be actually getting fish. If, basically, if I can avoid the trash, that would be amazing. Oh, I've just picked up a weapon. Believe it or not, a weapon fish, 10 pound mud snapper held in the offhand. Don't think it actually in 
this version of the game is classified as a weapon. It's just something you can show off. But that's, that's pretty cool. I, I don't think I've actually... If memory serves correctly, I think I've probably only got that on one other character. There, there was also a, a pretty fun little uh, ring that you could actually fish up, um, which is called the One Ring. Uh, uh, homage to, obviously, Lord of the Rings. <coughs> nice, we've got ten small brilliant fish now. Brilliant small fish, yeah. And another. And of course, before we get properly moving into today's episode, I have got to remember to equip both my shield and my axe. If we don't, we're going to be hitting them with a fishing pole. And believe you me, the, the enemies will not go down very quickly with a fishing pole. I think the fishing pole is considered a mace. It just says two-handed, but... Doing well, doing well. Up to level 27 in fishing already. Out of a current possible 75. So it's not bad. Not bad going. Two, two more catches, two more catches, and we'll call it there for fishing, and then we'll get cracking with what we've actually set out to do today. I wonder how much that's worth. Might just equip it as well so we can see what it looks like. Right, okay. Let's put that on. Okay, so there he is, our mud snapper. Oh, you can't actually see it because of the grass. Hang on, let's get somewhere where we can actually see what it is that Boltoan is holding on to. There we go. Oh, too far. <laughs> oh, dear. Good times. Good times. Right. So, why don't we, to begin with... Let's head over here. There's no point holding on to this fish, so let's see if I can sell it. Eight silver. Fabulous. Okay. And then uh, we'll get some cooking done as well whilst we're here. This one, again, is something that we're just going to sell on. As soon as we've cooked it, we will sell on. Why? Because it doesn't give us any form of buff. And in reality, we can just buy this kind of food from the, the innkeeper. Might even be worth going over to the cook and seeing if he has any additional recipes for us. But again, I think Brilliant Small Fish is, is a decent one that you can use to get from level 1 to around... I want to say around level 50 in cooking. Right, let's head back, trade. I have just the Only 14 the copper, but hey hey. It is what it is, right? Greetings. Ah, oh, okay. Right. He now does spiced wolf meat. Can't pick it up just yet. Why? Because we haven't got any cash. <sighs> Right, let's drink the water, get this one done. 
and then we've got to try and work our magic. I wonder what type of vision we're going to end up seeing. Am I supposed to follow Mr. Wolf? Stares to the northwest and lets out a long, drawn out howl. Okay. Just whilst you're walking that way, pal, I'm just going to head over here quickly. <laughs> so I can check the Mr. Fishing Supply Man. Ah, I have just the there we are. Okay, F level 50, I was right. And Long Jaw Mud Snapper. Okay, so we can cook up those other Mud Snappers once we actually get to level 50. Again, I'm not sure that that one gives us a buff afterwards. But for the time being, Let's follow this little dude. Where are you taking us, pal? I do so hope it's not Thunder Bluff. herb over here. Okay. Oh look, prairie dog. Love the prairie dogs. Okay. It's one of those random animals that gets linked to poo jokes, believe it or not. Everyone must have heard of when someone goes, oh I've got a turtle's head. Yeah, well you can also have a prairie dog. Just in case no one understands what it is that I'm talking about right now, when you have a turtle's head, it means you have uh, a breach of your bottom, your bottom hole, where you have maybe a tiny little piece of poo poking out, attempting to burst its way out. That, everybody, is a turtle's head. But a prairie dog <laughs> is where it pops in and out, similar to what a prairie dog does in real life. It pops in and out of holes. So there you go, there's the bottom humour out the way for today. Right, where are you going, Mr. Wolfie Man? You're heading up this way. Thank you, Mr. Druid. May your ancestors forever guard your path. And apparently my wolf is taking me over here where there happens to be some spirit bloom. Let's get rid of this guy quickly. Got my eye on the wall. I had my eye on the wolf. He has now disappeared from sight. He went up this way though. I do know that there was a herb there. Don't worry. I've not lost it. I just need to keep up with Mr. Wolfman. I think he's going to take me up to this cave maybe. Uh, there's quite a few herbs actually. Uh, since he's going that way and I can see him again, let's see if we can get this peace bloom. Nice. So it looks already we can make two healing potions or one healing potion. No. Sorry, one minor defense potion and one healing potion. Yeah, one of each. Oh, and I think we might have earth root inside. No, okay, it's actually the, the quest hand in. All right. See a wise runner. I've been expecting you, Boltoan. Be not afraid, Boltoan. You have successfully passed the right of vision. Uh, and yeah, we'll take the cloak. 
To gain acceptance among the Elders of Thunderbluff, you must next complete the Rite of Wisdom. So now that you have passed the Rite of Vision, the Ancestral Spirits of Red Rocks will give you the blessing of our ancestors. Only those who have drunk from the Water of Seers can gain the blessing. Travel east of Thunderbluff to Red Rocks and seek out the Ancestral Spirit, Bultoan. Okay. I will do that, but not just yet. I have quest of my own to do right now and that is go and farm some of these lovely delightful herbs because I've just seen a load pop up on the map when we we're running this way and of course we're going to need them in order to make ourselves some nice tasty potions I think one of the bonuses of obviously taking uh, alchemy especially as a warrior is a we're going to have the ability to heal during battle with the potions that we make um, it'll give us a little bit of more survivability because we'll be able to drink things like armor potions or strength potions. I think we can actually take one of each um, because you can have, at least I think you can have one combat, one... Ugh. Knew that was going to happen. Yeah, potions are classified as uh, different things. This, I believe, is a defense potion. This is like an attack potion. I believe you can take drink both. Give this guy a thunderclap. A bit late for it, actually. We'll just, uh, just, just do that. There we go. Right. And I should probably think about eating this, so we can gain ourselves a health bus. Now this is an interesting thing. I'm not sure if you saw, but the raw, brilliant small fish needed to be cooked before we could eat it. The raw long jaw mud snapper does not. You can actually eat it without cooking it, but it only does this much health. When you cook it, again, I think it's one of the ones that doesn't provide you a buff, but it increases that by like a couple of hundred extra points. Basically, basically, in a nutshell, that's what it does. Right, so we're gonna head up this way. I think this is where the dwarf and the tools is. If it's not, it may be the area that we get the harpies. No, this is the dwarves. Good. And maybe it might be a good idea to make one of those and then whatever we can with these. There we go. Now let's get cracking. Dwarfish, which of course we don't understand, so we've got no idea what she just said. Good news, everyone, we just leveled up. Okay, so it increases the target's armor by 60 for 30 minutes. This one's 50, but for an hour, so we'll keep hold of that. I've got a feeling if we use that scroll. It might get rid of our armor buff that we just used there. Not enough rage. Might even be worthwhile heading back to camp to get our new spells. I'm not sure what we get at level 8. Uh, let's just bring this one back. not found any pickaxes yet. I don't know if they drop off the dwarves themselves or whether I've got to go and find them in their camps. Give 
ourselves a quick heal. Uh huh. Okay, so we have two mobs and a chest. Right, let's see how we get on here. problem dealing two healers at the same time. Okay, let's go, go, go. It's a food crate as well. No. Oh. Cheeky little dwarf. Take a potion. Aha! Prospector's pick. So we've got one so far. Wow, hit the jackpot in terms of potions. That's nice. Okay, so the appraisers had actually more for us. It's too far away. So maybe I concentrate on taking down these appraisers. Need more rage. Don't you heal. Yes, okay. Appraisers is the way to go then. Okay, let's have a look up here. Whoa. Okay, there's quite a few dwarfs up here. Wasn't expecting quite so many. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, there I was. What do you mean resisted? Are you being serious? This guy just resisted again. Okay. down. Still need another. Still need another pickaxe. We'll just have to see if we can find one somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so we managed to get five pickaxes, which we now have to break down out of, ooh, out of forge. We also managed to get some earth root, so that's pretty nice. So we can make the, what was the potion now? Lion's strength, but we need some more silver leaf for that. Got some peace bloom here. All in all, doing really quite well. I'm trying to avoid some of these other things though. Although, actually, could we not make, what is it we can make? Not charred wolf. There was another recipe I thought we could pick up, but oh, maybe we couldn't because we didn't have any money at the time. But one of those takes wolf meat, I'm almost certain. So we might have to go and hunt ourselves some wolves soon. What's going on up here? I want to try and discover this area up here. I wonder if this is where the Tanner's Skinner's poachers are. And also, you may recall in the last episode, we'd found that camp that had the rare spawn in. Where was that now? Around here. So maybe we might be able to tackle that rare spawn as well. Yeah, I'm just going to go for this here. Bloom. Oh, these are the ones that cast. How annoying. Okay. So I can tell if you're doing any damage, so. Let's try and space out the attacks. I hope no one runs in and nicks the chest that I've just secured for myself here. Right, grab money. I'm not sure how much space I've got left in my bags. Three slots. It's not great. Uh, level 8 armour. Better legs. We just picked up better armor. Okay. Well. Right. So we need one more tanner, three more po uh, three more skinners. Sorry, and then we need some more poachers. We haven't found any of those yet. Uh, that's a skinner, but let's maybe check inside this cave. Hello. Any poachers? Seen any coaches. Most of these guys are tanners. worried about. I'm going to ignore that guy for now. Let's just head on down here. I can't 
what are my boots at the moment? 70 versus 34, okay. Two tanners. Let's go with the skinner. I reckon the poachers are going to be further up if they're anywhere. Two-handed. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, okay. Skinners can heal. I know that one has just run off, but... Hopefully he will come back. Let's just give ourselves a potion there. Not enough come on. That's you, Dan. What do you mean I can't carry anymore? Okay. Okay, let's have a look here what we can do. Yeah, okay, so as I thought, that actually got rid of our armor which is fine you can always make another armor potion I can't carry what do you mean right let's get rid of some of this other tips that we're holding on to here there we go necessarily the greatest ideas of doing this in the middle of a cave whilst there are enemies nearby but shield. Poachers, here we go. These guys have got ranged abilities, that's fine. It's a skinner, that's a skinner. Two more pitches. pick up in here cracked it short though it's a weapon so really ideally I want to be holding on to that let's eat the bread and do that there we go oh Mr. Skinner wants to join in okay fine fine get rid of that as well for a second There's not much point in 
staying inside this cave. Hopefully I can find a way out of here. I don't think I need to go up this way. So actually let's run on back. Nice thing is, is we cleared out quite a lot of this cave already, so but I will try and ignore or avoid as best I can some of these enemies that we don't need to fight. What did this guy have? Inventory. Ah, okay, another weapon. Let's do that. Take that, there we go. So we'll head back to town, hand in, and then I think that will we will call it there for today. Uh, there was peace bloom out here. That chest look has respawned already. Silver leaf just over yonder. now. Right, what can we get rid of that we don't really want or need? Let's get rid of that because I'd rather have the herbs to be honest. There we go. Right, head back, hand in and we'll call it there. Done well today. We've not only managed to get our fishing up and our cooking and our first aid, we've also managed to level up alchemy and herbalism a tiny little bit. Get some quests done. Ding to level eight. So all in all, a good day's work. And what do we have here to hand in? Just the sharing of the land quest. That's fine. What brings you here? Let me sell to. Oh no, he's Answer the trainer, not the vendor. Can't remember what level we need to be before we can pick up the next uh, level of profession. It might only be level ten, but it might be a bit higher. Here's Bane. Well met. So, Boltoan, it's good you've taken my task seriously. Respect of the land and its creatures is important. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. Take time to ponder this and do well to never forget it. He's about to give me something that I don't think I can actually take. Go. So we need to go and see a vendor first. Uh... Do you well sell? Yes, you do. Good. Right, let's get rid of that. We don't need the hammer or that. Uh, let's keep hold of those bits and bobs. Plucked feather we don't need. Cracked bill we don't need. The bent old shield we don't need. The malachite I'll keep hold of because we might be able to sell that at an auction house. And the other bits and bobs are mainly quest items. But what we can do is ah, 
I've been expecting you. Hand that in, there we go. And then sell those because we don't use guns, we don't have a gun. So it's kind of a pointless thing to hold on to. There we go. Right guys, this is where we're going to call it here, but I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more in our journey through Azeroth, our classic journey through Azeroth on the Horde side. But until then, take care, thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.